Man, oh man, oh man, as an EV owner for the last five years, and I've owned multiple Teslas, different kind of EVs, motorcycles, I'm just like you guys, man, to any EV owner out there, any car owner out there, you have some kind of anxiety owning a vehicle, whether that's, you know, maintenance, insurance cost, <laughs> But one of the big things with owning the EV, I, th I feel like us EV owners have more anxieties. Charging anxiety, range anxiety, weather anxiety, battery cost anxiety. You know, as a, a person who uses his vehicle to make extra money, I work my vehicle in the gig, the gig economy sometimes. Um, a lot of passengers ask me, what is the repair cost on the battery? And they just want me to give them, you know, throw a number out there. You know why? Because they want an EV. But the biggest thing that is stopping most people from buying these cars is what would it be like to replace a battery because you know why most people have replaced engines they went through engine failure they went through check engine lights so what if i have to replace a battery so we're going to learn some amazing stuff in this video and shut the jerry for sending us in the email and uh ryan shaw makes a lot of amazing content revolving around electrical vehicles and teslas and stuff like that so let's enjoy this video man but right now the huge thing is a lot of anxiety on an electrical vehicle and insurance costs. Insurance costs is at an all time high. People's premiums have been going up sky high. And we also been seeing insurance companies just pulling out and, you know, they don't even want to work with these electrical vehicles, you know. So comment down below. Is you, are you paying a high um, insurance cost? Because that's the biggest thing talked about right now is insurance cost. And um, the batteries. So let's check out this video, you guys. Original link be in the description box down below. And again, I hope everybody is blessed, well, and healthy, and that nothing but the best is going on in all you beautiful people's life, man. Let's crank it. On city streets, clearly their appeal has won over a lot of people. But there's still a lingering question mark on these vehicles that many current and potential customers still have. How long does the battery last? Huh. While every car has a battery inside it, truth be told, most people have very little frame of reference for how the battery inside an EV is different. Just as much as some scoff at EVs and believe their batteries need frequent and costly replacements, others wishfully think that they might as well last forever. Today we're going to look at the... We all say... They're supposed to last up to a, a million miles. <laughs> a lot of us EV owners were lit, um, were hit with a lot of misinformation, especially us ones that was uh, Elon Musk and Tesla fanboys like myself. We were fed a lot of misinformation. And some of us are, are getting hit upside the head right now. Some owners are actually getting hit upside the head, man. Now they got a new electrical vehicle fee in my uh in my area. So when I went to renew my tags, I had to pay $200 extra. So I spent $500 and now we see people paying $500 to $1000 to renew their vehicle in their uh states and stuff. It's crazy, man. People are getting hit with a lot of hidden fees on electrical vehicles now. latest data and break down the truth about EV batteries. How often is it truly necessary to replace and how much will it cost? With that in mind, let's get into it. Before we get into the nitty gritty, let's talk about batteries and what makes the ones in EVs so costly. Batteries in all sizes store the energy that is essential to the operation of your electronic devices. At a fundamental level, the battery in your car is just like the battery in your phone, laptop, portable gaming console, or anything else that runs on electricity. The primary difference here is its size. It takes a lot of energy to move a heavy vehicle at high speeds for hundreds of miles, yeah. and so that car naturally needs a very large battery. Battery capacities are measured with a unit called a watt hour. The average number of watts that flow over the course of an hour. A modern iPhone has a battery capacity of 12.68 watt hours. The most popular electric car in the world, the Model Y, has a battery capacity of 81,000 watt hours. 
And that is the one we have sitting outside in the driveway right now. Yes, indeed. The Model Y. Comment down below if we got any Model Y owners, any Tesla owners in the, in the comments, man. Have you been enjoying your Tesla? Comment down below. I've been enjoying my Tesla for the last year and a half, almost two years. And I've been a Tesla owner for the last five. I've enjoyed every model. That makes the Tesla battery approximately 6,388 times larger than the ones that you likely have in your pocket every day. When our energy capacity gets this high, we start to measure them in kilowatt hours instead, so this car has a max capacity of 81 kilowatt hours. If you've ever had to replace a phone battery before, you know how expensive that can be. So for a battery that is over 6,000 times bigger, you can guess what that does to the price. They're not as bad as some may think, but they're definitely not a small cost either. So why is it that batteries need replacing in the first place? A key thing to understand about batteries, no matter their size, is that over time their capacity will start to diminish. This is a process called degradation. degradation. While a degrading phone battery might just shorten the time before you have to plug it in for a few minutes, in a car battery it can shave quite a few miles off of your trip. However, there are ways that you can minimize how much your battery degrades, and we'll touch on those in a bit. So with all of that in mind, how long should an EV battery last before it will need replacement? Elon Musk has said before that Model 3 batteries should last anywhere between 300 and 500,000 miles. But in truth, those are numbers that we should look at with a bit of skepticism. According to JD Power, an EV battery should last the average driver anywhere between 10 we should look at with a bit of skepticism. 15 so replacing models, not bad. It will cost. Five to seven thousand. Skepticism. According to JD Power, an EV battery should last the average driver anywhere between 10 and 20 years, though that does depend on a number of environmental factors. They estimate that a Tesla mm. battery will degrade by about 1% of its range every year, so a 10 year old Tesla should still manage about 90% of its initial range. Tesla has shared data that shows the Model S and X only saw 12% battery degradation after driving 200,000 miles. Even then, this data doesn't account for the tons of progress Tesla has made in battery technology since the launch of the Model S, including their newer 2170, 4680, and LFP battery cells. We can see that very clearly by comparing these two graphs. One is the battery degradation of a Model S and a Model 3. The Model 3 with its much newer battery tech is already faring much better in degradation. So on average, how long should an EV battery last? Hmm. Tesla offers variable warranties that reflect a reasonable time and mileage that your battery should stay in good working order. The Model S and X batteries are covered for 8 years or 150,000 miles, whichever comes first. The rear wheel drive Model 3 is covered for 8 years or 100,000 miles. Then the long range and performance trims of the Model 3 and Y are both covered for 8 years or 120,000 yeah, miles. Yeah. For all of these cars, Tesla guarantees a minimum of 70% battery retention during the warranty period. Most car batteries will exceed those warranties by a lot, and ultimately very few ever need replacements, with certain vehicles aside in cases of battery recalls. The Model S is Tesla's oldest mainstream vehicle, and less than 5% of them have ever had their battery replaced. Then a majority of those replacements were for older vehicles, with 2013 Tesla Model 3 battery replacements sitting at a slightly higher 8.5%. So while the warranty is a good baseline for the minimum mileage you should expect for your battery, the great majority of customers fare even better and are driving on their original batteries well past the end of the warranty. Besides the Model S, most yeah. Teslas and leading EVs have even better replacement stats, and most are new enough to still be on their original batteries without issue, like with the Model 3, which launched in 2017. Less than 5% of Jaguar I-Pace, Audi e-tron, and Nissan Leaf EV owners have had to replace their batteries. For the Model 3 and Y, Tesla's best-selling models, less than 1% of owners have had to replace their batteries. Now that's, now that, let's be honest here, y'all, that sounds good, doesn't it? It sounds good, man. Yes, indeed. I got that Model Y sitting outside right now. Jeez, I wrote it this morning. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's crazy how, uh, you know, these newer EVs are already taking a crap, a crap on uh, battery, battery replacements, man. You know, needing a new battery. And these Teslas are holding up. I'm loving it. The cars with the highest rate of replacements, like the Hyundai Kona and Chevy Bolt, were due to manufacturer-issued recalls. The truth is that the overwhelming majority of EV owners have not had to replace the batteries in their vehicles in its normal operation and lifespan thus far. 
J.D. Power put it succinctly, no matter the model or manufacturer, all EV batteries last for 10 to 20 years. They gradually mm. lose capacity with some factors speeding things up, but you shouldn't be too concerned. Most replacements are covered by the manufacturers as part of a warranty or happen in unusual circumstances like what we are about to discuss. The other major factor that necessitates battery replacements is damage. Damaging your battery is not something that happens very often, but if you find yourself involved in an accident, then you may have to front the cost of the battery yourself, or at least your insurance will. A Hyundai Ioniq 5 owner made news a few months ago after a minor fender bender yeah, necessitated the replacement of their entire battery. Another Ioniq owner had to replace the entire battery when a protective panel was damaged after the driver ran over a discarded muffler. We'll get into what that damage costs for these owners in just a bit, <laughs> but because damage isn't covered by warranties, they had to front the bill for these repairs themselves. So while you probably won't have to replace your battery anytime soon, it is still something that could happen to you. If your battery is either no longer under warranty or it was otherwise damaged, you may be curious what that would cost you. Recurrent Auto and JD Power both offered tons of great data on the latest prices of EV battery replacements. The Nissan LEAF was one of the earliest mass market EV options, and newer models offer a variety of different battery size options. On average, their 30 kilowatt hour battery option costs anywhere between 3,500 and 4,500. The 40 kilowatt hour battery costs between 6,500 and 7,500, and the largest 62 kilowatt hour pack should cost between 8,500 and $9,500, all without labor. The Chevy Bolt EV was another hugely popular option before its continuation last year. A lot of Bolt customers had to have their batteries replaced due to a recent manufacturer issued recall, mm. so their battery replacement rate is skewed much higher than any other manufacturer. Recurrent found a number of Bolt customers who had to front the bill for unrelated battery replacements, and found that the average 66 kilowatt hour Bolt replacement cost was around $16,000 16, without labor. 000. I briefly mentioned earlier the Ionic 5 owners who had to have their batteries replaced due to damage. Two separate owners in Canada were involved in minor accidents that caused structural damage to their batteries and were quoted around 40,000 US dollars to replace them. Those prices are super high and in both cases cost more than the entire vehicle did when new. As such, insurance was unwilling to cover the cost and totaled what were two otherwise new vehicles. This is not even close to being a normal scenario, but with the increasing popularity of Hyundai's EV lines, it does raise a bit of concern, especially since one was caused by just running over some large road debris. The Tesla Model S had a similar problem years ago, but Tesla started installing a protective plate on the bottom of their vehicles to prevent this sort of thing from happening. Those numbers are kind of all over the place, so an important thing to look at when discussing battery pack replacement is the price per kilowatt hour. The Nissan LEAF had some slight variability, but most of its packs fall between $150 to $180 per kilowatt hour. The Chevy Bolt comes in around $240 per kilowatt hour. Based off the prices we just discussed, the Ionic 5 would come in at a whopping $519 per kilowatt hour. Not all EV batteries are the same size and capacity, so knowing exactly how much battery you are getting for the price is very important to know. Now, let's take a look at the data from the best-selling EV maker in the world, Tesla. The Tesla Model S is their oldest widely available vehicle, and on average, a battery replacement costs around $12,000 to $15,000 without labor. One owner reported back in 2020 that replacing the battery on their 2014 Model S was as much as $20,000, including labor. In 2020, so, yeah. About three years ago, that owner paid $20,000 to replace the battery in his Model S. In 2021, two other owners of 2012 and 2013 models reported estimated costs of $22,000 for a full battery replacement. The Model S battery pack can range from 60 to 100 kilowatt hours, which places its cost per kilowatt hour anywhere between $120 to $250 for just the battery. Once you start factoring in labor costs, the price starts climbing higher. The Model 3 and Y, being such new vehicles, haven't had a ton of battery Hearing that, I already know how y'all is, man. Hearing that $22,000... Uh, price point is um, going to run a lot of people away from owning this vehicle. Yeah. Like I say, it's it's certain keywords that run people off. And I, I'm just being honest with you guys, man. If I tell this to my homies, oh, yeah, it's going to take 22, 20. You might in the future, you're going to be paying like twenty two thousand dollars to uh, put a uh, get a brand new battery. Once your other one takes a crap on you, they're going to be like, oh. Never mind, I'm going to just stick to my good old combustion, my good old Cam uh, Toyota Camry, my good old Corolla. Because huh. if, if, if the engine takes the crap out on me, I can fix it or just buy a, a cheap engine off eBay. <laughs> 
placements done hey, out of real, warranty, man. so data isn't the easiest to find. One Model 3 customer reported a battery price of around $13,000, which with labor brought the price up to $15,799. Okay, that's all right. We're getting down with the Model 3. Model 3, you're looking at uh, 13000 for the battery, so 13500 Labor was um, almost 2300 and then you're looking at, yeah, about. 15, 15, 15, 8 with the uh, total fees and taxes, yeah. But that particular cost is around $180 per kilowatt hour, but Bloomberg has reported that the average cost of a Model 3 replacement was around $137 per kilowatt hour. I myself had to have my battery replaced in my 2020 Model Y, but since it was covered under Tesla's 8-year, 120,000-mile warranty, it was done at no cost to me. So while battery replacements are still very rare, a lot less common than many might expect, they do still happen sometimes and can definitely be very expensive. Yep. EVs haven't really been around long enough for us to have all the answers here, but there are ways that you like can work you to maximize your battery's life. Before we jump into those though, I wanna take a moment to reiterate something that's going to sound a bit obvious, cars are for driving. Normal driving isn't going to diminish your battery too much, and you shouldn't let these keep you from using your car as it is meant to be used. Yep. These are just some tips to keep in mind that might help keep your battery in as good of a condition as it can be for the longest time. Recurrent Auto says that, quote, the best practices to avoid battery degradation are things that either reduce the physical stress of the chemical reactions on the battery or avoid things that speed up the chemical reactions. Heat is one of the greatest stressors for batteries, and we can do a lot of good by avoiding it when we can. While EVs do have systems in place to cool their batteries, they will generally start to see diminishing performance if left in extreme heat for a long time. Even doing little things like parking in the shade or in a garage, if possible, can do a lot to keep the battery from getting extra hot. Another thing that can have a big impact on the lifespan of your battery is the manner in which it is charged. First, if you can avoid the need to constantly fast charge and instead rely mostly on lower voltage level two charging, that will help to preserve the longevity of your battery. Charging batteries relies on a physical process that quote, moves lithium ion. I y'all know I have a level two, at, uh, level two at home and I got free charging at home um, at night. I haven't used a supercharger in almost a year with my Model Y. So oh, it's been amazing, man. Ions and electrons around in the cells. At faster rates, the physical processes happen more forcefully and the more physical stress or micro damage occurs to the battery materials. It's a very small amount of damage, nothing to worry about, but it can build up over time to degrade your battery more quickly. Of course, it is totally fine to fast charge your car. It exists for a reason, but it's best to limit your use to long distance driving if you can. Second is the amount that you charge and discharge your batteries. EV batteries thrive best under conditions where you keep their charge within a more narrow range. Lithium ion batteries will last longest if you keep the charge between 20 and 80%. Tesla recommends that you only charge up to 80% and Rivian says up to 70%. Those are the numbers that I tend to follow, but it's okay if you go above or below those thresholds. If you're going on a road trip, then you can absolutely charge up to 100% for those extra miles. But if you're just doing short trips or commuting, then it's better to make small charges every day day as opposed to larger charges less frequently. For an example, let's say you were planning on driving a distance over three days that used about 60% of your battery. It would be better to use 20% every day and then level two charge back up to 80% every night. Charging the complete 60% all at once is putting a small but still greater than otherwise strain on the battery. If you can set good charging habits for yourself, then it will add up over time. With my cars, I plug in every day when I get home, no matter how much or how little I drove. You can set limits on the battery in your car and through your Tesla app, so it will top off at 80% and you won't have to worry about it. Of course, if you charge to 100% sometimes, then that's totally fine. These cars are meant to be driven and charged, but taking a little extra care can help it last longer, especially if you can do so. Recently, there was a story that really illustrated the impact that good charging practices can have on an EV's battery. Now, keep in mind this is an outlier and is about the worst case scenario that you can imagine for an EV's battery. One Uber driver bought a secondhand 2019 Model 3 that over the next 15 months, he put over 120,000 miles on. He would drive an average of 300 miles per day and would supercharge his battery twice a day up to 100%. Within the first 100,000 miles, he noticed the expected 10% drop in battery capacity, but soon after that, the battery started diminishing quite rapidly. It reached a point where even at 100% charge, the car could only get about 170 miles of range. Then one morning, his battery wouldn't go past 35 miles, and it had to be brought in for service. 
Since the battery was no longer covered by warranty, the battery ended up costing him $9,000 to have replaced. Of course, these charging habits were not good for the battery, but this is definitely abnormal to see a battery dying. Yeah, it's a whole uh, YouTube, uh, a whole YouTube uh, document on that whole that whole situation that we've gotten to check out as well. As quickly. Of course, this driver did put a lot of wear and tear on his car very quickly and didn't follow any of the best practices for battery longevity, but this still is a bit concerning. This car was the basis of his livelihood, and there are a lot of driving-based jobs that EVs may be considered for use in. We of course don't know the entire story of that vehicle there, but charging it differently probably would have extended the life of this battery. Knowing all this, it's easy to feel overwhelmed with all the little details to fret about with your battery, but truth be told, it isn't really a problem for most EV drivers. As we progress further into the future, the problems that EVs and their batteries currently face will likely diminish. Battery technology is constantly improving, and now that electric vehicles have grown to become such a big business, that is only going to happen even faster. As such, we are seeing energy storage prices drop in ways that give me hope that EV batteries will soon become even cheaper than they already are. Data from the US Department of Energy suggests that EV battery prices have already dropped significantly over the years, and it stands to reason that they will continue to do so. Between 2008 and 2022, battery prices dropped on average from 1,358 kilowatt hours down to just 153 kilowatt hours. That is an 89% drop in the price in just 14 years. They attribute most of those cost decreases to improvements in battery technologies and chemistries and an increase in manufacturing volume. As EV production and adoption expands, we can expect to see even further reductions to these costs. Once the first generation of Model 3s and Ys start to age out of their warranties, then the costs of those battery replacements are probably going to be even lower. Lastly, as we hurdle towards an increasingly EV-dependent future, companies and researchers are working on increasing the efficiency and scalability of battery recycling. Hundreds of companies around the world are working on processes to reuse battery material that will, one, reduce the need for mining and sourcing battery components, and hmm. two, lower the cost of batteries as a result. For an example, let's take a look at Redwood Materials, a battery recycling company founded by former Tesla CTO J.B. Straubel. Based on a report from March of last year, Redwood had collected 1,268 EV batteries and successfully gathered over half a million tons of raw materials. At that time, they were gearing up to begin production on their own battery components to sell to battery cell manufacturers like Panasonic. They will begin integrating these recycled components into their supply chain in 2025. Since then, Redwood has gone on to strike a similar deal with Toyota and is growing across the globe. Redwood is just one of the hundreds of companies around the world that is working to tackle this. Battery recycling on this scale is a huge endeavor that relies on a number of rapidly growing new technologies and science. Since it's so new, the impacts of large-scale battery recycling haven't been felt yet on this overall price. It stands to reason that down the line, if we can reuse those precious materials, then prices should drop greatly. It would significantly reduce the need for further mining, refining, and transportation of all of the substances that go into making a battery. Especially since so many of those materials have been sourced from all around the world, recycling will do a great job of localizing future battery production. While the idea of replacing your EV battery may sound daunting or expensive, know that it isn't really something that should scare you too much. EV battery- I know y'all scared, man. Let's keep it real. I know y'all scared. As an EV owner myself, I'm scared. I'm being honest with you. I'm that that twenty two thousand dollar price point scares the living crap out of me. Right now, I think I didn't use the restroom myself. I'm so scared. You know, as I look outside the window and my Tesla Model Y is sitting right there in front of me. Battery replacements are very rare, and most of the time they are covered by manufacturer warranties. Someday, if you ever have to replace- And I'm still in warranty, but guess what? I'm still scared. <laughs> place your battery out of warranty, know that prices are only likely to drop from here on out. If you are buying a new EV right now, it's very likely that your battery will last well over 10 years and possibly up to 20. Even if you are shopping used, know that EV batteries have been recorded lasting well past 200,000 miles, a milestone that most ICE cars don't ever live to see. I hope that this video may have cleared up. That is true though, man. We've seen these cars hit 200, 300,000 miles. Pretty impressive so far. But we've seen people need battery replacements as well too. But what do y'all think about that 22,000? 22, $20,000 $20, battery replacement. Comment down below, drop a like on the video, and I will catch you beautiful people in the next one. Peace and love you guys.